Jurassic Night for 2018. Here we go. Uh So Nintendo just announced Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch for 2018. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rummy Playhouse, and we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct that just released just a little while ago today. So the Nintendo Direct is basically just where they announce some upcoming games for their current year, and they did have a Direct Mini a few months ago where they announced a couple good games, a lot of ports. They announced Hyrule Warriors, Bayonetta 1 and 2, and the upcoming Bayonetta 3, which is really cool to see. Although they had a couple of really good third-party announcements, which I was actually, I was shocked about. They had Ease 8 coming, Dark Souls Remastered. Who would have thought Dark Souls coming to the Nintendo Switch? I know I didn't think that. So now they just had the new Nintendo Direct, which was like a 35-minute or so video, which was actually really nice. Although a lot of it was just updates, stuff that we already knew about. About um, Mario Tennis, we knew about that, but they showed a lot more in-depth into it, and I believe a release date for that. Hyrule Warriors they showed again, but they showed a release date for that. They showed Dark Souls Remastered, release date for that. Project Octopath Traveler, a release date for that, which is really nice, because we didn't know when it was coming out, we just knew this year, but now we have actual release dates, and more in-depth look of everything. They also showed, you know, Kirby, arms, you know, updates for that stuff, you know, stuff that we already kind of knew about. So, you know, I'm watching this direct and I'm like, okay, I, you know, I'm not too impressed. You know, it's stuff that I already knew about, but it's nice to see a, a deeper look into it. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how great it was because at the end, they announced the biggest thing of all. You know, so, so far I'm not entirely too impressed. I just thought it was an average direct. We've seen all this stuff. So, you know, it was kind of cool to see, you know, more in-depth looks. And at least we got some release dates of everything. But they did show some third-party support with Undertale. That was really cool to see Undertale coming to the Nintendo Switch. I like the little trailer they had for that. And South Park, the fractured butthole, which is coming to the Nintendo Switch. I'm actually excited for that because I haven't played it yet, and I guess I'll be getting it on the Switch version. And then they got into new Splatoon 2 content, which they have a lot of new content coming up for that game. Free DLC, over 100 new costumes that you can have for your characters. 100 costumes, that's a lot of costumes, for free! New arenas, for free, which is really nice. So Nintendo has been putting out a lot of free DLC, new content for that game. They're really supporting this Splatoon game, which it's a really fun game and fantastic game. You should play it. And then they did announce their first paid DLC for Splatoon 2, which is going to be a new story mode. That right there is awesome. I love DLC like that. You know, I don't really care. I don't. I can go one way or the other for DLC. Don't really care. Microtransactions as a whole nother ordeal. Don't want any of that. You know, paid DLC. It is what it is. But if you're gonna have paid DLC, at least let us get new story modes. That is the best kind. Because a lot of times you really enjoy a game. It's like I want to play more of this game. You know, a whole new story. I'll pay for that. That's awesome. I, you know, I like new content like that. And so we saw all this. Splatoon 2 stuff, which was really nice. And then they said, okay, you know, that's it. They said, we have one more thing to show you. And you see a little splat of paint. And then you see the squid kids come out, you know, fighting each other. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess it's just more Splatoon. What's going on? I don't know. It's kind of cool trailer because you see them, you know, the camera panning around back and forth and the Splatoon kids fighting back and forth with their paintball guns and that, which was a kind of cool trailer. And I'm thinking, like, well, what's going on? They already showed Splatoon too. What could this be? I'm thinking, okay, maybe the Splatoon kids are gonna be in another game. They're gonna be like characters, you know, making a, you know, an appearance in another game. I'm like, what could it be? I'm thinking, the only thing it could be, I'm like, no, no. Nintendo wouldn't do that. They wouldn't announce it like that. That'd just be too cool. Like, Nintendo's cool, but they're not that cool. And then all of a sudden, you see the Squid Sister running, and the music turns off, and the lights turn down to dark, and all of a sudden, you just see her stop. And she looks behind her, looks up, and the camera zooms into her eye, and she gets all wide-eyed, and you just see the little smash ball, the fiery smash ball symbol glowing in her pupil. And then it just, the camera pans out, and you just see, boom, a huge fireball of Super Smash Brothers. And you see a silhouette version of Mario looking like really cool, and Link looking awesome. And then it just pans out to all the, the, the characters just amidst in the flames. It was really cool to see. And the screen just fades, and you see Super Smash Brothers 2018. Woo! I kind of thought we would get Smash Brothers in 2018, but I thought 
they would announce it with the Nintendo Online stuff. I thought, you know, end of the year, 2018, okay, we'll get it, because they're going to need something huge for Nintendo Online, some kind of huge online multiplayer game, Smash Brothers, hopefully. So I wasn't expecting this at all in this direct. So this was really cool to see. And the Squid Kids in Smash Brothers, Nintendo had to do it. They just had to put them in there. I wanted them in the Wii U version. Obviously, it would have been DLC content for the Wii U. However, I, I would have paid for them in, for the Wii U version. But then I, we thought, okay, we didn't get them for that. So obviously, when Smash releases for the Switch, we have to get them in. We have to have them in there. I mean, they're just a staple for Nintendo now. They're just a really big franchise now. That trailer was so... It, it shocked me. I have to say, it shocked me. I just wasn't expecting it. Having the Squid Kids there, and then it just panning out to this awesome Smash Brothers symbol. Just seeing all the characters lying up there. Such a big announcement. The Direct was going... It was okay. It was a lot of stuff that we just seen. Just more in-depth in and in release dates, which is nice. But I'm like, man, we really need a big announcement from Nintendo. You know, we got some cool third-party stuff, but we need something big, you know? So, of course, classic Nintendo holds off to the very end to show us Smash Brothers. And you know what? I'm happy about it, because that alone right there is the biggest announcement they can make for 2018. So, I'm really happy that 2018 is going to be a big year. We're going to have Smash Brothers. I still play Smash Brothers all the time. I play it on the Wii U constantly. Every week I play it. You know, I have friends come over and we play Smash Brothers. I'm playing it all the time. I mean, why else do you think I'm unbeatable at it? So, let's talk about real quick if this is going to be a port version of the Wii U version or if this is going to be a brand new Smash Brothers title or is it going to be kind of something in between, kind of like a half breed or a like a Smash Brothers Wii U, like like a, like a .5 Ultimate Edition or something, you know, deluxe version, which they keep on doing, which, you know, I'm okay with. What I want from it, what I'm, what am I expecting from it, is all the same characters from the Wii U version, plus some. You know, we're getting the, the Squid Kids, which is awesome, I like that. I want to see new levels, I want all the other levels that we had, but I also want all new levels as well. And I want, for 8 player mode, that we can play in all the arenas because for the Wii U version you couldn't play in all the arenas. I have no idea why. You could play in some of the large ones, some of the small ones, and some in between, but you just couldn't play in them all. And then they had some like alpha version of a couple, but I, I don't understand why some were just blacked out for 8 player mode because once you play 8 player mode, 4 player mode isn't as fun. What I'm thinking is that it's def if it's going to be a port, it's definitely going to be much more in depth. I mean, one, we're getting the, the Squid Kids. But I kind of think it's going to be a new IP because we saw the character lineup and we saw Mario, you know, he was a silhouetted version in the flames with embers flowing around him and you could just tell by his, just even though it was silhouetted, you could tell he meant business. And then the camera panned to Link. Now it wasn't the Twilight Princess Link and I know he was silhouetted out but you could just tell by his facial features that his hair, like he had those, those locks coming down in the, in the front with the ponytail. It was definitely the Breath of the Wild version of Link, which is awesome. Okay, we, so we got the Breath of the Wild version of Link. I'm assuming we're going to have the Breath of the Wild version of Zelda. So that tells me, if we're not getting the Twilight Pr Princess version, we're getting Breath of the Wild version. This is going to be new characters, essentially. You know, Splatoon kids are going to be in it. We're going to have all new content. So this is going to be a new IP from Smash Bros. And if not, that's still okay, because... The Wii U version was extremely fun. I still, we're still playing it all the time. So if they take that and just really remaster it and make it the, the best version they can, the ultimate deluxe Hydra version, I'll be happy with it. So that is what was announced for the Nintendo Direct. I'm really excited for the upcoming games that are releasing for the Switch. I mean, we have Dark Souls coming out. We got Ease 8. I'm really excited for Undertale, which would be a fun adventure. We have South Park. I haven't played that. I'm really excited for that. We got the Mario Tennis, which seems kind of fun because they got some story mode in it. And most of all, Smash Bros. 2018. Best announcement we can have. That is going to make 2018 another big year for Nintendo. So, thank you for joining us today for another episode of Rummy Playhouse. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again for another episode. We'll see you then. Bye. Ah! Super, 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 super.